Hi and welcome to Photoshop. i um, going to just explore some of the basic features of Photoshop in the next couple of tutorials and get you skilled up with working with them. So first up, really it's just some conceptual stuff of non-destructive editing. So take, taking the example from two photos I've grabbed from online, uh, both in Creative Commons and produced by different people. Um, I'm just going to dump both of them in the bar across the top here and sh cover the concept of non-destructive editing. Re with non-destructive editing, we want to preserve the original images so that if we need to make any changes, um, we can do so down the track. Now, the easiest way to do this is saving as a different version. So give it a new name and that sort of stuff. However, it doesn't preserve a lot of the information of the thing, the changes you've made along the way. So if I was to get this one, the second technique that you can do is to duplicate the layer. So you duplicate the layer before you make any changes. That way you can go through and modify things to your heart's content and still be able to get back to the original. So if we take this and just smudge it a little bit, hopefully it won't take too much for Photoshop to catch up. We'll just smudge that one down. Photoshop will think for a few moments and we should see a bit of a blurred space. And this is an example of non-destructive editing. So I've destroyed my original photograph. However, I still have that original there and I can get rid of this one if I wish to do so. This is fairly basic non-destructive editing. Um, what we can do is take something like the moon here. So I'm just going to select it all, copy it, and then paste it into this scene. So control a for all, control C for copy, and control V for paste. Then I'm going to free transform it so I can shrink it down to an appropriate size to drop it in the middle of this background here. And then click OK. I'll cover the keyboard shortcuts and that sort of thing down the track. So I'm just going to zoom in with control plus and select the rectangular ellipse tool and I'm going to crop out this moon. Now it's not a perfect selection by any means. Line up the top and bottom of the circles, hold down shift to get a nice even circle. And this way I can now, I've got the moon. What I can do is add a layer mask and there it is. It's been cropped, edited as I wish and you can see that it's still preserved. If I actually turn off this layer mask, disable it, the original image is still there, unmodified and I've got two images built into this scene. And then I can even take this further. So if I wanted to, I can add a fresh layer down here. I can fill this layer with a color, let's call it red. And then I can apply a different sort of layer blending option. So I can darken, make the whole scene very red. Not the exact effect I'm looking for. What I am looking for is to take this layer mask, I'm going to apply it to my selection. So it makes my selection closer equal to whatever that layer mask is. And then I'm going to apply that to the layer above it. So only the moon appears black red. And this is you know, a fairly simple set of edits to create a scene. So to challenge yourself, I would like you to put something together that shows this non-destructive technique. Firstly, make sure you duplicate the background layer of the image you're planning on working on. Then introduce a second image and apply a layer mask to it so only part of that image shows up on the scene, such as the moon image that I have here. Um, and that sort of covers all the basics for this so far. Thank you.